Okay. Go under. Go under and then. Like that? Yeah, and then throw the whole thing back to me again. We're doing a little uh, adventure today. It's uh, minus 30 out. It's cold. We're just coming into uh, Ignis here. We're heading up all the way up to uh, Red Lake. Gonna pick up uh, an old, uh, well not old, but used and abused uh, Kevlar canoe. Got it for pretty cheap, so we use that this summer. It's a 17 foot uh, Aquatico. Oh, the gas is 126 here. Wow. <laughs> it's getting worse as we go. It's passing the visitor center, the old fire tower. Got Mark with me this morning. <laughs> morning. <laughs> so it's going to be a long, long day. It's uh, six and a half, seven hours up there and six and a half, seven hours back. So far, boring. <laughs> Winter is boring. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. And cold, but. All right, we're just coming into Dryden. We're about the halfway point, I guess. A big long, tra big long line of traffic behind the school buses this morning. Gas is a buck sixteen, same as at home, Thunder Bay. And it's so cold this morning that uh, the smog is just kind of hovering above us. It's actually warmed up a little bit, but it's still cold. We gotta pull into Rotten Ronnie's here and uh, feed Mark. <laughs> gotta feed the boiler. Feed the boiler. <laughs> All right, we're just coming into Vermilion Bay. We're gonna be turning north. Heading up towards Ear Falls and Red Lake. One oh five north. Gold country. Gold country, yeah. One seventy to Red Lake. Coming into Ear Falls. I think we got about uh, 73 clicks to go to Red Lake. I don't know what the population of this place is. down on the road up here right from almost across from the cop shop yeah Ontario power Vote for you. 
<laughs> oh yeah, that's the Patricia, the old wooden one. Yeah. Oh, there's the museum. Got the plane, and there's a Russell tugboat up there somewhere. Unless they stole it or took it away, scrapped it. <laughs> I didn't see it. It's probably buried. Got about the same amount of snow up here as we do at home. All kinds of lodges up here. This is the step off point to Wabakimi and all those uh, big parks up north. Outfitter's Paradise up here in the summer. Dushy Red Lake. Last big building. School, I guess. Looks like a school, yeah. yeah. That's it. That's your falls. Next stop, Red Lake. 70 kilometers. Lots of territory. Lots of moose tracks, but no moose. Still heading north on 105. About another 35 clicks or so to Red Lake. It'll be a little more fun in the summer, but <laughs> we're stuck doing this in the winter. At least it's a nice day. It's getting nicer. Minus 12 now. It's warmed up quite a bit. Sunny out. We're in the middle of nowhere. Red Lake straight ahead, Bomber Town, Koshner. Red Lake. My old stomping grounds. <laughs> Got all the amenities of home here. We got Tim Hortons. Super 8. Hospital. Red Lake, Ontario. Big mining town. With lots of outfitters. Because we are in the middle of who knows where. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's the lake up on the right. Yeah. That's where my old boss used to be down there. Norseman in. How we be? There's the lake. Oh, they're driving on the lake. Racetrack. Oh, Red Lake Marina. They got all kinds of. Pick up a sled there. We should take one of those uh, side by sides left. out on the ice there. Yeah, and then throw the whole thing back to me again. You already got it, or? Yeah, throw it back. Yep. Oh yeah, just, just enough. Perfect. Now that I got this. Hmm. 
All right, there's the canoe, and we're heading her out all the way back home again. That's Red Lake, the lake out there, and this is Red Lake, the place here. Well, let's just take a quick little tour downtown here. Got Yamaha, Yamaha, ha, ha. looks like a nice little town. People are probably looking, oh, what this guy's carrying a canoe for? It's winter. <laughs> yeah. Everything's iced over, frozen solid. Be that way for the next two months here for sure. Downtown Red Lake. Mm -hmm. I figured it'd be a lot better than this with all the money they have here, but... Well, they, the mines have the money, the people don't. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. the way it works. Yeah. Red Lake Inn. A bunch of Red Lake Inns. Everything's a Red Lake Inn. <laughs> Lakeview. Downtown. Yeah. And we're turning around. That's the uh, ice road out there. We're gonna go for a cruise on the ice road there. All right. Turnaround time: 12:30. We left at basically 6 a.m. We're heading out of here. Heading back home. It is minus 11, so it's warmed up a lot. Still cold on the fingers, though. Coming back across Ear Falls Dam. Alright, just coming back into Dryden again. Been a good, uh, uneventful drive so far. Nice day. Smoking hot in the truck. <laughs> a little cool and windy outside, but it's minus eight. That's the big paper mill. What is it, where, where, Warehouser? Yep. Oh no, Dome Tower, I think, now. Dome Tower now? Yeah. You can't keep track of these paper mills. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to stop here at uh, Tim's and have a quick coffee, even though I don't drink coffee. <laughs> All right, starting to get dark. We're still uh, quite a ways from home. Another hour and 20 minutes or so, but she's going to be dark. We're just coming past the time zone clock here. Gain another hour. Start carrying it for three miles and it gets a little heavy. But yeah. All right, the canoe is home. As you can see, I've already put my sticker on Rob Faro ATV. You can see the old uh, the old Outfitter sticker. Who I owned it used to fit there, and this is like brand new here. And then it's kind of sun faded over here, but the sun faded through the sticker and left the left the name on there but oh well so this is a you can see there the Quetico 17 Sasuras River 
17 feet long Kevlar epoxy and I even got my outdoor Rob sticker on there already so these canoes are made in Atacokan which is maybe 200 kilometers from here not very far but they're really well made they're tough those are the uh, ribs the way they make them with the Kevlar nice wood seats well it's a nice big canoe so that's going to be a lot of fun this summer alright I hope you enjoyed the video Thanks for watching everyone.